Today, we're looking at Cross Red. Hi, I'm Adam, and I'm an ink guy. I get inks, test them, and share the results with you. Now, there's timestamps down below so that you can skip around, but if you got the time, I'd appreciate you checking out the entire video. Also, if you're interested, you can follow me on Instagram, and if you're new here, I would invite you to subscribe. In order to make sure I have a range of experience with this ink, I do the writing samples. I then put the ink into this Caveco Brass Sport with a broad nib. I wrote with it for a day and used it to take the notes for this video. In order to standardize, I always use Clairefontaine, Tomoy River, and Rhodia paper in this first writing sample. There will be more writing samples on different papers later in the video. Now, let's look at the writing sample. I picked this ink up in sample form, and this is such a great example of why you should try samples. I don't, eh, this one's just blah. To keep my writing samples consistent, I use a Jinhao 159 with a Goulet 1.1 stub, a Jinhao X450 with a Goulet medium, and a Jinhao X750 with a Goulet extra fine. Let's take a look at the Clairefontaine. It has no bleeding, no ghosting. The 1.1 has no feather, spread, halo sheen, no shade. The extra fine is the same tone as the 1.1 with no feather, spread, halo sheen, or shade. Seven seconds to dry. The medium is the same tone as the extra fine and the stub with no feather, spread, halo sheen, no shade. Eight seconds to dry. The scrubby for both shows no color variation. We didn't expect it. We didn't get it. The interesting thing is the line is so incredibly visible through this ink. It's at least a consistent color through these writing samples. Just not a good one. Tomoy River, no bleeding, normal Tomoy River ghosting. The 1.1 has no feather spread, halo sheen, no shade. The extra fine is the same tone as the 1.1 with no feather spread, halo sheen, or shade. 10 seconds to dry. The medium is the same tone as the extra fine with no feather spread, halo sheen, no shade. 12 seconds to dry. The scrubby for both show us no color variation. We didn't expect it and we didn't get it. And Rhodia. No bleeding, no ghosting. The 1.1 has no feather, spread, halo, sheen, no shade. The extra fine has the same tone as the 1.1 with no feather, spread, halo, sheen, or shade. Eight seconds to dry. The medium is the same tone as the extra fine and the stub. You've heard that a lot because at least it's consistent in that way. It is, that is something, it is very good. It is the same red. The medium has no feather, spread, Halo sheen, no shade, 10 seconds to dry. The scrubby for both show us no color variation. We didn't expect it, and we didn't get it. I agree with Vita that I've learned a lot by doing multiple chromatographies. The one on the left is done the way it's supposed to be done. We put a line of ink down and immediately put it into water for 10 to 15 seconds. And what I see is the very watered out red that's pushing its way up. The red ink itself which isn't very dark, but then this kind of yellow across the top. And I think that yellow is what's giving it, it's not as nice a red tone for me. The one on the right, I let dry for 10 minutes before I put it into water. And it looks exactly the same. You wouldn't be able to tell the difference if it wasn't for the D that I put on the filter paper where I let it dry. This to me means I expect no resistance whatsoever. Resistance tests are done to see how well this ink can be expected to perform on the page, and more importantly, how hard it may be to clean from your pen. I let the smear dry for three days before testing it. Looking at the highlighter, it immediately blows out. It becomes really blurry, feathered all over. I would not use this in a note-taking situation for fear of losing important things. Water is reactivating and lifting everything but this kind of pink tone that's left there. Now I do believe that given a little bit longer that pink tone will go away. I didn't have any issues using only water to get this out of my pens. If you did have to use more than water, which is all that I think it would take, pen flush does completely remove it. If you look around the edges, you really start to see the white of the paper coming through, which means that pen flush is the most that you would need. Now, one-third bleach solution, even though you're not going to need it, it will obliterate it from this paper. It will completely take it out of your pen. 
but you have just no need for it. For the inks I've tested, I have found an average viscosity of 2.5 with the realm of normal being from 2.1 to 2.9. Now I'm gonna link a video where I show how I test it and how I calculate the data. Cross Red has a viscosity of 2.27, which is normal. It's also quite a bit different than most of the other cross inks that I tested. Most of the cross inks I tested were very wet, but this one was very normal. And I had to go back and double check it just for that reason, because it was so different than almost all the other ones. I think the only other ink that fell right in normal, let's see, nope, there was a two others, okay. Okay, so there was two other inks right in normal. It's viscosity's normal. To find my average dry times, I use my writing samples done on Clairefontaine, Tomoy River, and Rhodia paper. I average all of those. Now, for the inks I've tested, I found an average dry time of 17 seconds, with the realm of normal being from 13 to 21 seconds. Cross Red has an average dry time of 9 seconds, making this a faster drying ink. Quite fast. Instead of finding inks that look like cross red, I would prefer to find an ink that complements its color on the page. I wanted a really nice blue-black and went with Colorverse Proxima B. The second writing sample is gonna be done on Limon, Strathmore Writing Paper, and Levenger. Here we see Limon paper, which for the most part has always had real problems performing with fountain pens, but I really personally like finding inks that work even on some bad papers. Now we do see some spotting occur where it's coming through just to see it, but it's not horrible, doesn't touch the page underneath. It would not stop you from using the back of the page. This ink does very well on this paper. Looking at the stub, one, uh, no feather spread, halo sheen, no shade, the extra fine is the same tone as the 1.1 with no feather spread, halo sheen, or shade. Five seconds to dry. The medium is the same tone as the extra fine and the stub with no feather spread, halo sheen, or shade. Six seconds to dry. The scrubby for both show us no color variation. We didn't expect it and we didn't get it. Strathmore writing paper. We get no bleeding. But we do get some show through, not the kind of show through that would stop me from using the back of the page writing to someone. But there is some show, some, some show through. Whew. Words. The 1.1 stub has no feather, spread, halo sheen, no shade. The extra fine is the same tone as the stub with no feather, spread, halo sheen, or shade. Five seconds to dry. Medium is the same tone as the extra fine and the stub with no feather, spread, halo sheen, or shade. Six seconds to dry. The scrubby for both show us no color variation. We didn't expect it and we didn't get it. And last is Levenger. No bleeding, no ghosting. The 1.1 has no feather, spread, halo sheen, no shade. The extra fine is the same tone as the 1.1 with no feather spread, halo sheen, no shade, five seconds to dry. The medium is the same tone as the extra fine and the stub with no feather spread, halo sheen, or shade, six seconds to dry. The scrubby for both show us no color variation. We didn't expect it and we didn't get it. And that is the end of the writing samples. So what do I think of Cross Red? The tone is a little light for me, and while you know we get to choose a red that you would like kind of thing, the ink is a little too translucent for my taste. I would prefer a more opaque ink when I'm dealing with my reds. What pen is gonna give the best writing experience from this ink? Broad and wet. You need a lot of ink and you need a nice thick line so that you can get your best chance for a great tone out of this ink. If you've enjoyed this video, remember, I like thumbs up, you like thumbs up, everybody likes thumbs up. Unless you didn't like it, then give me the thumbs down. Both are good. Thanks for watching.